Hey everyone, welcome back. I am so excited because I have a new camera, if you can't tell. Um, things are looking a little different. This is my new camera I'm going to maybe film with every time if it, this turns out okay. Otherwise, I've started vlogging a little bit and I am going to be putting up my first vlog not this week, but the week after, just because I have some other extra bonus videos going up this upcoming next week. So, um, one of them being, let me just get this out of the way. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you're probably not aware of this, or Snapchat. If you don't follow me there, you should be following me, first of all. Second of all, um, what I'm referring to is the Tarte Rainforest to the Sea Foundation. I am testing this out, and I'm going to have a demo and review up for you guys on Monday. So that's going to be my bonus video next week, which is why I'm going to save the vlog, which is has to do with fitness and my muscle growth. Um... I don't know why I do that. I just embarrass myself. I'm going to save that vlog for the following week then. So you guys will have three videos next week and then three videos the following week. So I'm testing this out right now. I have it on. And I'm going to do a full demo and review for you guys on Monday. So yeah, I'm so excited with this new camera. It was pretty much my Valentine's gift for my husband. And it's just easier to have a vlogging style camera. Because my other camera is a DSLR and that is not something you can just throw in your backpack and go hiking with and take photos. It's great for around the house and whatever and that's what I was filming on. Um, but they don't make that one anymore and this is much higher quality. So I have so many favorites this week. Um, let me take a drink of my coffee. We are going to be having people over tonight to come play games and stuff. And I'm actually filming later than I normally do. Um, but it's kind of like an overcast day and it used to, it was sunny, so it's actually better for me to film when it's kind of overcast like that. Okay, I have a couple new wines downstairs. I haven't busted into them, but I do plan on doing that later this evening. Um, but I, I have a new wine that I had bought for my husband and I to enjoy when he came back because he likes, he doesn't like the same types of wines as me generally. So I found this one called Chocolate Shop and he really liked it. I didn't love it. It's really sweet. If you do not like red wine at all, try this because it's it's a chocolate infused wine. It literally smells like when you're pouring it, all you smell is chocolate. It is a very good wine to have. Like I think of like girls coming over or you're going to do like fondue dipping or you just are craving chocolate. This is a great one. It's called the Chocolate Lover's Wine Red Wine with Natural Dark Chocolate Flavors. It looks like this. It's very sweet. Um, let's see. It has... Um, Deep ruby red wine blended with rich velvety chocolate, inviting aromas of black cherry and dark chocolate combined in the glass and continue on the palate, surrounded by hints of cocoa powder. Definitely very sweet. I would not drink this with a meal. It's just a great wine you can enjoy anytime, but sweet. So for those of you who don't like some of my other types of wines that I typically like, like a Merlot or a Cabernet or a Pinot Noir, this is a huge departure. Dessert wine, hands down, but it's very delicious. Um, kind of like a fun wine to have around I think especially for if you invite people over and they don't like wine have them try that because I think that they would enjoy it I love these cups from Starbucks you can probably find them at your local Starbucks in the state you live in this one's Colorado obviously isn't it cute okay so ignore my nails I purposely painted them last night with like a color scheme in mind of what I was going to do on my lips and my cheeks then we went to the gym and lifted weights then I cleaned my house this morning and they're just, they're disgusting. The color is, I wrote it down. So look at the color, not the chipping. <laughs> the color is OPI Hands Off My Kielbasa. Was that a limited edition color though? It's just a, like a bronzy, peachy, metallic-y kind of color maybe. I don't know. It really matches my color scheme of like nudes and stuff. Okay. Let's move on into the favorites, because I have some good stuff this week. I didn't play around a lot with, well, let's just get into it. Okay, so the first thing I've been using since I posted my makeup haul and review, I got good feedback from you guys. So I think I'm going to do it that way from now on. In fact, I have another basket of some things I've picked up and using um, and collecting. And I'm going to do, let's see, I have it written out on my calendar, March 12th. So not tomorrow but the following Saturday I will have another haul and review up for you guys but this is one of the things I had picked up this is the Garnier 
um, Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. I am loving this stuff. And I'll tell you, I am not using this to take my makeup off all over the place. Um, I like to use, um, like right now I'm using the Bobbi Brown Cleanse Off Oil. This stuff is divine. It smells amazing. It gets the job done. Very hydrating on the skin. I like to like take my makeup off with oil because it just breaks everything up and then I go in with a cleanser. So I do all my skincare routine and everything, go to sleep. Wake up in the morning and this is what I use in the morning. I take a little cotton pad and instead of rewashing your face, which you don't really need to do, you just need to get off any dust bunnies that landed on your face in the night or any crusty drool you might have on your face from drooling, <laughs> which I know a little thing about. Um, this is all I use and then I go in and put in my moisturizer and eye cream and all that good stuff, but this is great. Um, it doesn't burn my eyes. And a lot of eye makeup removers do burn my eyes, even the ones that say literally on the bottle, it's soft and gentle. There's only a couple that I can think of, like the Lancome one works well for me, but not all of them work. So this one says no rinse, no harsh rubbing, you can use it on your face, eyes and lips. I've tried it to like take all of my makeup off, and yeah, it works, but you gotta go through several cotton pads and several of this, and to me it just doesn't make any sense. So I think you will go through it much quicker. But this is lovely. I think no oil, alcohol, fragrance, I really enjoy it. And they, this does come in a waterproof version, which has the blue cap. I don't wear anything waterproof, so I just got this one, and I'm, I'm loving it. It's really, really great. Um, another like, face type thing, not skincare, but... I am almost out, well pretty much have like one use left in my Urban Decay setting spray for my makeup. And I've discovered that using a setting spray actually works. And so now I kind of don't skip that step. So I wanted to try a, a new brand to myself. Um, and I've heard nothing but good things about, ooh, sorry, the Scandinavia brand. So I'm like, well, everyone's loving it. I'm gonna try it out for myself. These are really nice. So there's the Makeup Primer Spray. So this, so, I don't use just this as a primer because sometimes, well most of the time, I have larger pores in this area so I always like to go in with another primer on top just to conceal that and that's the reason why I like to use this in conjunction with another primer and I wouldn't have to. You know, if you have like no pores then just use this. This literally creates like a tacky situation so your makeup adheres to it. So this is oil free, paraben free, it's just a makeup setting or makeup Primer. So you want to spray your face before you go in with foundation or anything after you moisturize your face, of course. But what was the ingredient I read in here? Someone's calling me. Someone's Skyping my husband and his computer's closed. We're just going to ignore that because I didn't want to have to edit this video. <laughs> Anyways, um, cornstarch. Hold up. Let me just deal with this. Anyways, cornstarch is what is the third ingredient. Water alcohol something and cornstarch so that is what <laughs> cornstarch is a thickener but it really creates a tacky situation so when you go in with your makeup it just like sticks which is awesome so i've been enjoying this and this is the setting spray now that i've been using and this one aloe is in this does this one have alcohol this one does too which can be drying but i haven't found that thus far however i do use Usually a hydrating primer and a really good moisturizer. So, I've been loving these. I think they're great. I would definitely recommend trying out the Scandinavia brand. Now, I haven't tried any, like, drugstore ones, but I don't know. I fear they're not going to work as well. Coffee I'm drinking is my favorite. It's the Caribou Medium Roast Blend, in case you're curious. I know I'm always curious. I'm like, what are you wearing? What's on your nails? <laughs> like, whenever I watch something, I am just have, like, like, I want to ask these people these questions. Um, oh, and one other thing, this is not an affiliate code, but Scandinavia was like, hey, I have a discount code for your subscribers if you want. I'm like, okay, well, I'm sure they wouldn't mind if they want to order it, why not? Um, the code, I'll have it linked below, but basically you can use the code and you'll get 15% off, free shipping, and you'll get two pocket-sized sprays. I'm like, well, that's a good deal, how come I didn't get that, you know what I mean? Um... But it's not affiliate or anything, it's just for you guys, which I think is nice. I mean, bonus, you watch a video and you get to save money. Um, all right, let's move into makeup. So, oh, I had talked about this too in that haul and review. The Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm loving this stuff. I'm really loving this stuff. It doesn't look like powder on your face. I've been using this for my under eyes, which I don't usually use anything except the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder because things just go 
and settle and look dry and cakey. This doesn't. This doesn't look like powder on your face at all. In fact, when I put it on, I can't even see it. Um, now, I know one of you had asked me about that, that you thought this was kind of drying and that you could see it on your face. Maybe you're using a little bit too much because I really don't use much at all. I put it in. Um, like if I'm doing my under eyes, I use my Real Technique setting brush. This is what I always use for my under eyes. But I put a, a little bit of product on my brush and then I tap it off in the cap and I even swirl and then tap again because I don't want too much powder. You really don't need much. I mean really just a smidgen to set that concealer. You don't need like, you know, a centimeter's worth of powder on your face. And then I do the same technique um, with my face and I usually grab like something like this, like the Sephora Pro powder brush it's kind of tapered and you know just set my entire face and stuff and it's not looking like powder on my face it's looking great it's setting my makeup i'm wearing it today i hope the color isn't going in and out on this camera this is my first time using it so if i look i was trying to figure out if i look a little too red but then I'm like, well, maybe I just need to adjust where I'm sitting and not like adjust the color. I don't know. We'll figure this out, guys. Eventually, I will have my videos on point. Um, but it takes time to figure things out, truly, especially when you have no idea what you're doing. And especially when you only have a couple hours of nap space to do that. Because um, I have children. And so, anyways, next thing I want to talk about. Sorry, this is coffee. It's, it's delicious and I don't want to waste it. <laughs> um, I want to talk about this. I have been using kind of like cream highlighters a lot. Um, I do wear a little bit of makeup when I go to the gym. Now, I'm, I, I, this morning I went with nothing, and that was fine. But I personally feel my best if I take 10 minutes to put on my brows, even out my redness, put on a little mascara, and some sort of lip. Um, just a little something. And lately, I've been adding in a liquid highlighter just to give my face like dewiness and all that kind of thing. And you're thinking, well, you're just going to go sweat it off. Well, not what I'm doing right now. Right now I'm just lifting weights and I don't typically get sweaty doing that. So, I don't know. It's personal preference. Some of you might think that's something you don't want to do. Well, then you don't have to. I just feel a little bit better and if I have a few minutes to do it and I have all this makeup, why the heck not? You know what I mean? So, I've been loving this highlighter and I was actually pairing it with the next thing. Um, but this is the Rouge Bunny Rouge Sea of Tranquility Hi Highlighting Liquid. There is so much product in this. I mean, it's just insane. You can also mix this in with your foundation. You could, um, you know, put it all over your face if you want a really glowy look. Put it on your decollete. Do whatever you want with it. All I know is it's a beautiful shade. Now, I'm not self-tanned right now, and I was self-tanning. I don't prefer this type of undertone in a highlighter when I'm self-tanned, when I'm more in that medium skin tone. But when I'm more light, this is beautiful. Um, so it comes with a nice pump. I love the packaging on the Rouge Bunny Rouge products. I mean, truly, just beautiful packaging. So one pump is going to be a ton. <laughs> and here is what it looks. See, now with this camera, I can actually get up close, which I'm loving. And so this one is, it's got like a pinky undertone, which is why I don't love it with, say, medium skin tone as much, because I feel like it's just a little bit too much. But look at that. It is just stunning. So I've been applying this on my cheekbones. And I usually just kind of dab it with my fingers. And if it, sometimes I'll go in with like a damp beauty blender like this. This one's from um, Beauty Junkies. And I'll just kind of tap it on and blend it in. Or you can use your fingers. But it's just a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. And then after I put that on, I kind of like to set cream. Just because I feel like... When you go outside with all cream and no powder to set anything, like the wind blows and dust and sand and like all this stuff is going to stick to my face and I'm going to look disgusting. I feel that way. Does that really happen? I'm not sure, but that's how I feel. So I always take the safety measure of setting with powder and this highlighter I am smitten with. This was another one of those products I recently bought in that haul and review. There's a theme here, <laughs> but I've been using them. So I, I mean, look at this highlighter. My camera shut off of me. I think I can only film for so long on this one. Hmm. We're going to have to figure that out. Anyways, um, this is the Hourglass Ambient Strobe Lighting Powder in the shade Brilliant. It is such a brilliant shade. I, I love it. I feel like this really rivals my all-time favorite, which is the Laura Mercier. Let me grab that one just so you can compare here. Oh, 
I forgot to tell you in the, in the beginning of the video that I posted my makeup collection this week on March 1st, which was Tuesday. So if you missed that, then you can know what all products that I have in my collection. So that will be linked below. Go watch it. It's a good time. I can't believe I forgot to mention that in the video in the beginning of the video. Oh well. I'm sure if you stuck around this long, then you'll get the memo. Um, what was I reaching for? I was reaching for my Laura Mercier, which is hold up. Where is it? Oh. Oh my word. Clearly since that video I've rearranged. Alright. Chelsea, where is it? That's not it. Sometimes I swear my kids come in here and they just start messing around in things. Here it is, right here in front of my face. So I love this one, okay? This is in my yearly favorites from last year. I bought bought and discovered this. Not discovered it, but I bought it last year. Whatever. It was in my yearly favorites. So that's what that looks like. And then this is the Bloody Brilliant, so it's a little bit lighter. This is a highlighter. I think if you're my age, which is 30, or older, this is your new best friend. <laughs> now, depending on your skin tone, um, there's one that's more peachy undertone. There's one that's more pinky undertoned. There's one that's, what's the other one? This one's more a little bit golden, but brighter. And then there's pink peach. There's another one. Um, but the, uh, the one that I, the incandescent light comes in the trio of ambient lighting powder. So that one I just, I was like, well, I'm not interested in that. I already have one. Um, so right here, it just is so soft and subtle, but you can build it up. To, it's see how it's just glow. Okay. We're not talking chunky glitter. We're not talking strobe, like. Becca highlighter highlighting powders. We're not talking We're just talking gorgeous just stunning. I'm so smitten with this I've been loving to top the liquid with this because it just brightens it up and tones down the pink a little bit um, Just really happy with this product truly and I know when it first came out it caught my eye And I just kind of waited to watch reviews and then I waited to like go to the store and swatch it myself So smitten with it um, Okay a couple other things here. Let's talk about this because I have not I have been nonstop with this. And the thing is, is I had neglected this for a hot minute, like a long time. I haven't really worn this bronzer much, but this week I've worn it every day and I don't know why I stopped wearing it because it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Now my all-time favorite bronzer, one of them, is the Bobbi Brown Golden Light. So let me grab that. Because that one I get a lot of use out of. And it looks like this. Okay, it's just a great, if you're lighter skin toned, and especially in the winter when you're not like tan or whatever, you don't want your bronzer to be too dark and deep because it's just too much or it can be too orange and whatever. This is just a really nice, now my color looks good. Okay, this is weird. Um, you want it to be, just look really naturally bronzed, you know, and this, this is a good one to do that. Now this hourglass one, this is the luminous bronze light. There is a darker shade. This is the lighter of the two. It's similar. It's similar in tone and I just love it. Now when you swatch it, it almost appears to have a little bit of a sheen to it. But I do not find that it's obnoxious. And I do not find that it's so much that you can't do an all over bronze with it. Or an all over because that's what I've been doing. And if anything, it just adds a nice glow to your skin. Which, if you're dry skin, I mean, anything with the word glow in it, your ears perk up. Like, what? Oh, I need that. Um, and I'm not dry skin, but I'm definitely normal. Normal skin. In the winter, I'm less normal. Or no, I'm more normal to potentially dry. And in the summer, normal to combo. I get, com I get oily in the T-zone with that. Something's really oily, but this is beautiful. Beautiful packaging, love the bronzer. Just effortless, easy, blends, doesn't look messy, doesn't look muddy, doesn't look orange, it's just beautiful. Um, another product, which I think everyone needs to own this because it looks good on absolutely anybody and everybody, is Milani's Luminoso. It's the blush I'm wearing today. Mine's a hot mess because my son took a chunk out of it. This is a beautiful blush, like peachy, warm, golden goodness look at how close I can get with my new camera I love it oh my gosh I'm obsessed don't look at my nails but look at that blush color it's stunning 
Now let me swatch that for you. I mean, winter, summer, spring, fall, who cares? It's going to look great on you. Okay, there we go. So there it is, Luminoso. And then there, I guess you can see everything else up close there, but I'm just really into this glowy, dewy stuff right now. I just, it's rocking my world right now. <laughs> um, okay, and let me have, I have one more thing I want to talk about. Um, this is a lip liner by Estee Lauder. And I have decided that this is just a beautiful nude lip liner shade. It's not too dark, it's not too yellow, it's not too brown. It's just a great one. And this formula, it's the Devil Wear formula, is fabulous. It stays on. It looks good. I'm wearing it today. Um, this is number 18. It's called Nude. It's a similar packaging as the Lancome, which, do the new Lancome ones come like that though? Maybe they do. With the brush, you know, if you wanted to use this for lipstick, which is kind of cool. I don't ever use it that way, but um, here's what it looks like. I'll swatch it here for you. It looks like, let's see. Let's do it right here. It's just a great, great lip liner shade. It's a great nude. I mean, for me, this is very close to my natural lip liner or my natural lip color. So that means when I go to use this, it's really just contouring my lips and creating a nice shadow. So when I go in with the lipstick that's maybe even lighter, it really creates a nice dimension. Um, I have some other nude lip liners that are lighter than my lip color. And they don't, I just, I don't know. I like things that are nude, but, you know, maybe a few shades lighter than my lip color, but not so light that it just, like I said, it doesn't create that shadow. It doesn't contour. It doesn't create that dimension that you're looking for when you're doing a nude lip. Because if you just do a nude lip without, like, a nice dimension, it's just, you can look really flat. And that's fine if you love that look. I'm all about you doing you. But for me, this is where it's at. I love this nude lip liner. It's just a great shade. So after filming, I decided I wanted to show you a better close-up of my dress. It's from Mod Cloth. This particular style comes in a couple different colors. This is like the green, it's like a green color, the cutest pin tuck, like, I don't know what this is called. I don't know what it's called, but it's just a pretty, very classic line. Um, the back is very bra friendly for, well, I, I would assume you'd probably wear a bra with this. <laughs> um... And then it has a cute little detail on the belt. Let's see. Ugh, this door. If this was my actual house, I would have an issue with this door. It doesn't stay open. Anyways, um, and then it just kind of is pleated all around. It's, it's form-fitted, but it kind of goes out, you know, so if you're a little conscious of your hips, don't be. Anyways, um... Yeah, and then it has pockets, which I think are so cute. And then today I've chosen to wear just kind of a fun little tight. And then these are, that's my husband. These are the Michael Kors shoes. I just think it's a very classic woman line. Love the dress. And then I have on, besides some leftover swatches, um, this little green number. Um, come on camera focus the little green number is from Stella and dot and then these bangles are from shop lately and this is my sweet little doggy you say hello lily grace lily grace hi lily say hi you good puppy yeah no jumping no jumping i don't like that stuff Alrighty. well anyways i'm just gonna want to give you a little download on my dress do i have anything else to share I think I shared everything. Um, so tomorrow I have, well tomorrow's video sitting in front of me, it's a great one. It's going to be a lowdown on liquid lipsticks. My thoughts on all the formulas that I have, so you just need to stay tuned for tomorrow's video. And then Monday, like I said, I will have the demo and review up of this foundation. And then stay tuned the following week for my first vlog. If you guys love that vlog, I will definitely do more because it's kind of fun. You get to know me a little bit more, to see my house and every other crazy thing that happens when you try to vlog with children so i hope you guys enjoyed this if you're new welcome i hope you subscribe and stay well i would love to have you here and thank you guys so much for chatting with me and i'll chat with you tomorrow Mwah. bye guys